guys. Just a quick peek at the inside of the Jeep. Kind of hard to tell, but it actually ain't bad. I'm laying out as you can see. Got a pillow right here, the camping pillow. This is, uh, I think it's an Ascend pillow, but it's just your regular camping pillow. And then, you know, an old keepsake pillow from home. Laptop set up right there. We got it actually run into power because there's power at this campsite I'm staying at. Got my towel up right here for privacy. Some more privacy curtains there and here. And I lost my last one so I don't have any on this window but that's the back window so really no one's over there. Underneath me, got a couple layers here. I'm gonna sleep under this. It's only supposed to get down to like 50 degrees tonight and I'm dressed relatively warm so. Just gonna sleep under this. And inside here, the sleeping bed, there's an air pad that I got. And then underneath that, it's just one blanket lining the whole back of the Jeep. <clears throat> All my hunting gear, my hunting backpacks right here. I got my headlamp charging. Cell phone is right there charging. Uh, clothes for the morning are right here. Boots are on the uh, tailgate, so. Hopefully, hopefully, something happens, guys. I don't really know what to expect. Uh, first time ever doing this, first solo hunt of my whole life. I might try and do a better opening introduction for you guys tomorrow, but uh, yeah, I just got in tonight. Drove straight from work, it was about an hour and a half drive, about 70 miles, camping here tonight and tomorrow night. Tonight's Friday night, October 18th. My second time ever hunting in October and first time ever hunting solo. First time camping from my Jeep and then hunting in the morning, so that should be pretty cool. I've done it to go fishing before, but never to go hunting. And I've definitely never done it up as nice as this. This is pretty sweet, I even got power. <laughs> All right, so uh, gonna shut her down, it's like eight something. And uh, just cycle in, look at some maps, and uh, retire for the night, guys. See you guys in the morning. We're going out in the deer woods. New public land that I've never been on before. We scouted it last year and I've camped out in this area a couple times, but never hunted it. So time to make it happen. Quest for number one. Let's do it. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and uh, share this video. It's proof that you guys can go out if you guys are determined or thinking about getting into hunting. Uh, I'm a new hunter myself. Uh, spoiler alert, I'm looking for my first deer. Yes, that's why I'm saying quest for number one or journey for number one. Just because yeah, we're looking for the first deer. It's going to be cool, guys. Ground hunting, ghillie suit. Get excited. Woo! Made it. <laughs> Time check. Time is uh, 3.58 or something like that. Or 4.03. Now we are getting dressed. Sign in starts at 5 a.m. We're hunting. So we're gonna get dressed and uh, go sign in. And hopefully we see something this morning. First time ever hunting this public land. Temps are about, it's about 48 degrees right now, 47 degrees. It's not chilly, it's actually like pretty perfectly comfortable to be honest with you. On my drive in this morning, I saw like six does across the street right over there through that thin pine, but they were crossing out of here into the other side, which is um, camping and all that. So there's no hunting over there. It's like they had their alarm clock set or something. But what I did this morning was woke up bright and early, slept in the Jeep last night. Uh, that was actually awesome. 
Uh, a little chilly, but uh, super comfortable actually. Woke up at 3.50, got ready, had a little breakfast at AKA Donut Holes and Bolt House Cappuccino. I was debating being a little ambush ambitious and diving in kind of deep this morning because I'm personally not a big fan of just setting up on field edges and watching a field, but I thought for the purposes of what I was trying to do this morning, this was ju just fine with me, so I'm about only 200 yards in to this piece here, sitting on a soybean field. I'm almost positive I've got this field to myself. No one else parked in the parking lot with me this morning, and there's two other parking lot sections down more south that I think are gonna be holding the bulk of the hunters see, but right now the winds are blowing about 10 miles an hour. Northwest winds, and it's gonna pick up to about 12 mile an hour winds, and about, actually kind of, kind of warm. Gonna get to about 60 degrees today, so not an ideal cold morning, considering we had a real good cold front before this, and that was in the mid 30s overnight a couple nights. We're on the back end of that cold front right now. It's still a decently cold morning, but who knows? We got some time. We'll see if anything happens. Just Austin to be out hunting, guys. Never again. That stuff sucks. Alright guys, just got set up for the afternoon hunt. I'm at the campsite still, so taking my time. It's only, we're like way early as I always am with this kind of stuff, but it's 11.47 right now. I wanted to get in for my afternoon hunt by like 12.30, something like that, 12.45. So I got about another 15 minutes here, just getting everything dialed in and ready. Last second charging and things like that. Gotta paint the face up, did find my face paint, didn't have it this morning, so that's probably why I didn't get a deer. Just kidding, I know that's not really at all a factor. I just like to do it. <clears throat> so we're gonna get painted up. Uh, gonna stay on the ground this afternoon. I did find something that I feel pretty confident in, or at least for the limited amount of time I have, I'm just gonna roll with it. It's just a little meadow set up with like a marshy, swampy bottom. Because of this rain that we've been getting lately, it's actually holding some water and I saw like eight different trails coming down into it. So I think what's happening is a lot of the deer are just using that little area, that little bog or whatever you want to call it as their water source. 
as opposed to going all the way to the main lake or some of the creek systems that run through this area. It's just a quick water system and what I noticed on both the north and the south side of that bog there was a rub. Actually the first one I noticed is the one that was south side and that was a very substantial like definite rub. Fresh shavings of bark were on the tops of the wet leaves and all that underneath. I was paying attention to that stuff so it, I mean it had to have been done in the last couple days even more recent I don't know. It's hot, and the mosquitoes are terrible, but I'm set up slightly different than what I thought that I was gonna do this morning, but coming out here actually planning to sit and shoot. Well, this is awkward. Yeah, obviously, it's not, uh, not dark out, and uh, I'm done. I, you know, I'm big on honesty with this channel, so time for a little honesty. I've been out bugged. I set up next to this bog that I showed you guys this morning and uh, with the, the rubs on either side of it, it didn't take more than 10 minutes. I got out there at like 1.15, now like 1.10 and and my hands were just annihilated and, and, and I had my mask up just showing my eyes, which is good, but then all they can get is your eyes <laughs> crushing me. And then, I've got allergies, I'm not trying to build excuses here, but they're uh, cutting the corn across the street and it was like a dust cloud almost the whole time, just I can still see it now. The whole air is just completely full of like corn pollen and just, oh. So my, my face feels like it's gonna explode. So I actually decided we're gonna curveball it. We're gonna go home early and surprise the darling. I'm not supposed to be home till tomorrow. She's probably expecting me home at like 11 a.m. tomorrow. Instead, I'm gonna be home at, it's 4, 4 17 right now. So I gotta still, I guess still gotta go to the campsite because I got stuff there. But I really only have like the cooler and a chair to pack up and an extension cord. After that, we're gonna hit the road and uh, should be home within the next two hours, two and a half hours. My spot's like somewhere back like 250 yards into this crap. We're gonna call today a win anyways, cause I did it. My first ever solo hunt and uh, everything worked. And we found sign. We found something to come back to if anything once it gets a little cooler and these mosquitoes get the heck out of here. But uh, yeah, let's go back to the campsite, pack up, and then we're gonna hit the road and go surprise the darlings. Stay tuned guys. Yeah, I know. No deer. I know. What a shocker. Yeah, I get it. Alright guys, about to pull into the house right now. Just stopped off uh, real quick and we're about to pull into the house. So, gonna surprise her. Hopefully, she's in. She's happy about the surprise. Yeah, let's hope for that. Alright, here we go. They're gonna know I'm pulling in, but we're gonna go lights off now. Let's see if we can sneak in here. I don't think so.
You know, now that I think about it, John at the campground, anytime something went wrong, he just waited for somebody to fix it for him. Makes sense. You fuck! You fuck! It's a deer. Why? What happened? Oh, <laughs> yay! <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Hoopy doopy. Yay! <laughs>